Hello everyone, I am Nagendra and welcome you back to my YouTube channel Proteo Adda. Today we are going to watch how to install MySQL on Windows 10 and how to consume less memory after installing MySQL. So guys, go on. Very first step, we have to select any of the browser you may choose and then simply type download mysql and click the very first link which is being shown here as soon as we will be clicking uh, we will be getting a fresh page where we have an option to download you can see here lot of the tabs are available but still we have to click on downloads as soon as we will be clicking on downloads we will be getting a page where we will be getting a link to download and then the further things are being mentioned here you can watch it out here simply you can see here that uh, during downloading process we it's easy to download but to go for setup is quite tough so keep watching here i will be showing you all see here in this uh, you can you have to scroll it down and then simply you can see here my sql community gpl downloads click over there Simply that link is being shown here at the very last line. Click over there and then we will be getting a new page like this. Here see a lot of the options are available. Uh, we have to go for last second option. You can see MySQL installer for Windows. Yes, click on this. Many of the options are there. If you have to install Visual Studio and Visual, you can go for there. But we have to go for the sec last second option. As soon as we will be clicking, we will be getting this page. Here, we have to select, see, uh, for Windows, the option is given. You can select of 32-bit or whatever system versions you have. Then we will be proceeding with download. As soon as you will be clicking on download, it will take a little bit of time. And then simply you can see that a downloading link will be going on and it will be shown on your taskbar still it's not being started that's why it's not showing now you can see the last area where we can see that a task but the thing is going to be going to be load and very soon you will be watching that see the downloading process is going to be started now on this video what more we are going to watch is we are going to here download uh, python version also python version means what we want mysql to be connected with python so the process of connecting is different but the purpose to make this video is only to show you how to download mysql and how to link with python because python is a what our front end where we will be doing programming and we want our mysql will be on a database we will be using mysql as a database see the downloading process is about to complete as soon as it will be completing what to do just go for double click and further process you have to watch it very carefully because a single step if you will miss might be it will occur a problem so while installing something uh, we have to take care that if you are going for full installation Obviously, if you have a system with lot of memory space, then simply you can go for full installation. But I will recommend it that don't go for full installation because it may occupy 4 GB of data. Simply, we will be going for a process which is required for us. I will be showing you that what where the options are to select and uh, whatever options you want to that options are also available there and every time it is going to be updated that's that's why lot of the variations are there as i seen that when i downloaded it earlier before one month the process are quite different files are quite different but now it's totally different now you can see that this window is available here at the top you can see developer mode was there but finally we will be going on custom custom was at very last Fine. Now see this options will be coming here. You can see MySQL server. These all options are there. Now whatever things you want, you have to click and you have to click on right arrow which will be shifted on next of the side. 
yes now you can see here any of the version you can select mysql 1 is required mysql 3.5.7 is mentioned i have clicked on first and i have shifted it on the right side now it is being available now done then again i have to select something else which is required for me here you can see applications are there mysql notifier excel visual studio router this is all up to you whatever thing is required fine now here whatever thing is required for me i will be just going for that now you can see here options within options are there in the very first options i have selected and again i have shifted on next of the place that means on the right side now here i have selected server and notifier one more thing is required as i told earlier that i need python 2 then i have to search where the python is then you can see here on this much list if required then only import them otherwise go for another you can see in connections in connections you can see the last option that is python then i will be clicking on this and the very first option now you can see that message is shown if that version is not going to be support on your system that type of messages you will be getting while importing then you may prefer on other area okay now see here i'm not getting any message then simply i will be clicking over there and then finally the requirement whatever i am having that is being completed because only i need what my sql to be running on my system and a python where i want to be connections so here these all things are being mentioned if you want anything more then simply you can select here now you can go for next c here you can see two of the options are available mysql server which i want and a python as i told here now we have to go for next and then you can see this option is there now here uh, we have to check them both as required and then see here it's showing that one of the thing is required then go for ok it will recommend us that what thing is required it will be coming automatically now see you can see here mysql notifier is being downloading if the file which is required to be downloaded if it's it is not being selected by you and it is mandatory then obviously you will be getting a message and finally you have to download that particular file and go on further now you can see after uh, downloading that mysql notifier rest of the process which was left that will be continue automatically no need to worry about that and it will not take time also because we have selected the option of custom and if you will be preferring for full installation obviously you may but if required then only otherwise your system performance will be low you can see it is being completed here uh, now it's installing downloading was over there now it is being installed also complete after complete you can go for next okay now see here it's already started as i told that server and then python both is uh, one is being downloaded another is being going on it's vary it varies because of size and then simply what i want to tell here is after this installation again the process for linking both of them it's quite tough uh, which I, I will be showing you but not in this video because it will it, the process of installing is quite different and to link is quite different how to link with python before on this you have to do what you have to use mysql because whatever programming you will be doing on mysql that programming will be linked on python uh, or by pro creating a database so these all processes are there but here you will come to know that what to how to install this you have you have seen all the processes over there now simply after doing this we have to set up all the passwords routes and many more so keep watching if any of the step will be missed by you will create a problem if error comes on the mid then you have selected some of the file which are not being supported on your system so on that time what to do you have to simply go back and do select the options which i have shown you and go for installation process whatever thing is being pending um, because if the file is not being supported or if any problem occurs then supported files are responsible for that because without supported files that execution process will be not going further
fine so that all process are required here you can see the things are being completed now we have to go on next as soon as uh, we will be going on next we will be getting an option for another thing uh, here we are just watching it now see here it's ready to configure mysql server which is completely required for our system now as soon as you are uh, doing this we are getting this setting now see configuration type is what development of computer live like this and then this all thing whatever thing is being shown because do like this and go for next but here it is required a root password whatever password you want to give give it here see as i told that here tcp ip name shared so in this all op option don't do any changes over there here is required what mysql root password you may give a password and then the same password to be repeated on next as soon as you will be entering a password it will be showing you a message that it is weak or whatever you may give a strong password also if you want to add user then go on add user otherwise go for next but uh, it's required to add a user because many times it happens that you are working and then someone or else are also working on that linux uh, or on that mysql uh, so that's why here we are going to add uh, one more user because after that after installation it's not possible to add user so here only we are going to add user see uh, as you have seen that password was showing that was weak now that's why again password is required to change it fine now also it shows it's showing that it is weak but here now the password is quite big now see add user is what <clears throat> after clicking on add user sorry <clears throat> we have to go for username and whatever username you want to type type it host all host see here option is localhost and all host go for local one then role is what db admin and many more options are there like design order see here what to select is only db admin only now authentication is what mysql now here again you have to give a password here see a password and then again confirm password and then we will be clicking on okay a password needs to be entered and then finally click on okay now see here you can see one more user is being added as a local host ng fine db as the role is what db admin now moving forward like this is given after here you can go for a custom when you want to do some changes over there fine if you will be doing changes then again problem may occur so better go for by default and go for next and then you will be getting this window here many things are going on final stage is this you can see a message on a taskbar after installation very soon you will be watching here three of the processes is completed you can see service list is changed it is shown on the taskbar and one more message will come if mysql will install successfully here you can see its process is going on uh, okay just wait for a little hope so we will be getting message very soon okay the process is completed and message is also shown now to open mysql just go for start button and select mysql and then this option will be coming here you have to type a password which you have set on installation process and then just enjoy mysql hope this video is helpful for you all so guys don't forget to like share and if you are new then press subscribe button thank you bye bye and jai hind